Greetings After Effects folks, let's take a look at using After Effects to create this beautiful beach scene using key light and a few of After Effects built-in effects. Okay, so let's start, let's just play through it, lovely stuff there, we've got a shadow, we've got a little movement in the water, we've got lens flare, all that kind of stuff and nonsense. Alright, so let's take our original footage and create a new comp by dropping it onto the new comp icon. There she is, let's put it on full res. Gorgeous, all right. So let's take our pen tool and just draw around the lovely lady to mask out the fan and the extra bits and pieces on the wall. Okay, just scrub through that and make sure she doesn't move outside the mask. All good. Now let's go to key light. So let's find that in here, key light. Drop that on and use the color picker to pick some green. Okay. Now we just need to refine this because of course there'll be highlights and dark spots. So we'll switch to our screen mat and I can use the screen mat properties if I clip the black. Okay, that's taking care of those dark shadows there and we've got some transparency on the dress so let's roll back the white okay and I don't mind a little shadow around the feet because that's kind of where a shadow would be anyway and um, a little transparency on the shawl is okay because that's also semi-transparent so I'll just switch back to my final result and close this window I'm going to drag in my wallpaper there we are i'm going to scale down this lady there we go okay pop her somewhere on the beach that should do now like maybe just a little bit bigger okay right so first thing to do let's create a fake shadow so i'm going to duplicate this layer and then I'm going to take the anchor point tool and I'm going to move the anchor point to the feet. I'm going to make this duplicated layer 3D. Use the rotation tool. And I'm going to rotate our lady so she's flat on the beach. So we've got that's what we're going for. Okay, I'm going to add some effects to this. Uh, I'm going to first put some hue saturation on here. Let's do that. And drop that onto the layer. Make the saturation zero. And make the lightness pretty low. Let's put some blare on this. There we go. Let's use a Gaussian blare. Drop that on and blur it up okay maybe also I want the shadow to get a little lighter towards the top so I could go to the layer and choose uh, gradient ramp gradient overlay there we go and just in my gradient overlay I'll change the colors to make this white a kind of gray just so it gets a little bit lighter towards the top okay so we've got a shadow also I might just hit scale unlink the scales and just stretch it out a little bit on the X so there we go so we've got ourselves a little fake shadow and I might also just hit T for opacity and just blend it a tiny bit in with the beach that's our shadow what about some movement in the water okay let's duplicate the bottom layer let's use a mask and mask around the water's edge not getting too close to the beach okay and I'm just going to solo that so you can see the mask I'll press M twice and I'll feather the mask to blend it in with the background layer and on this layer, I'm going to go over to my effects and presets, type in 
wave that's the one I want wave warp I'll put this on it's a little too crazy okay so I'll just take down some of the settings I'll take the wave height down something low there we go and take the speed down something low again maybe increase the width play about just to get the settings you're happy with just want a subtle little bit of shimmering in the water okay we've got some waves finally I'm just going to go to layer do a new adjustment layer on that our old favorite the lens flare pop that on there uh, move that up to there there we go might change the lens and there we've got our lovely lady on the beach okay thanks buddies have fun with after effects